Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Virgo. What does your guides, angels, and ancestors want you to know for November 2022? Um, this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements. So apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you uh book a private personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below Quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watched, flip, twisted, or reverse. Uh, this reading is more so for the um, uh, Virgo in individuals that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth. But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so, okay? So Virgo, let's get started here. Tell me about Virgo. What does Virgo's guides, angels, and ancestors want Virgo to know here? I want you to know that there is change coming there is change upon you or that there's an opportunity for change here for you okay so wheel of fortune what else do we have here for virgo from their guides angels and ancestors what what do they want them to what do they want virgo to know we have the queen of wands here aries leo sag and we have the tower here aries scorpio energy we have the seven of cups here we have the nine of swords and the high priestess queen of wands aries leo sag we have the Tower, Aries Scorpio, and the Seven of Cups here. There is some major changes here. The universe is stepping into rock your world here because I feel like there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of stress and anxiety here. And I feel like once this tower happens, I feel like it's going to give you that kind of peace, serenity, that clarity that you're looking for because I feel like you're going to be uh, tapped into your own self here, tapped into your intuition. A lot of you guys are really losing sleep over... Um, something that you're going through in life. There's just a lot of confusion. There's, there's just a lot of confusion here, okay? Uh, you know, there's a sense of, uh, you know, feeling a bit lost. You know, you don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're going to land here. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Energy with the High Priestess. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy. The universe, the divine, is stepping in. Your guides, angels, and ancestors are stepping in to help you out, okay? The queen of wands and the four of pentacles here. And, you know, I feel like I feel like uh, your guides and your angels and your ancestors is asking you to accept this change with an open heart here because I feel like your heart space might be closed off. You might have a blocked heart chakra here, okay? Tell me about this uh, tower. Tell me about the tower here. We have the Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Wow. You're definitely holding on to a lot of disappointment and regret here. And I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are asking you to let it go, move on, heal, okay? Uh, tell me about uh, Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles here, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So moving forward, I feel like, you know, there's a bit of a push and pull. But I, I also feel like you're getting into this more grounding energy here too. Yeah, feeling more grounded, feeling more connected, maybe feeling more connected to nature and the earth here too, okay? Uh, what else do we have here for Virgo? What else do we have here for Virgo regarding their guides, angels, and ancestors? What else does Virgo's guides, angels, and ancestors want Virgo to know for November 2022? All right, we have the Knight of Cups here and the Page of Cups, both Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Seven of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. Okay. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles. That's a true pair. We have the Empress here and the Four of Cups here. Seems like, you know, you could be learning some big lessons here. Karma could be being, it could be cleared out here. Is being cleared out or in the process of being cleared out. We have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups here. 
Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. So I feel like there is someone that you're wasting your time on and you feel like your guides and your ancestors are asking you not to waste your time on this person anymore, okay? Because I feel like this is an individual that's really immature. They're just not on the same level here as you. And when this tarot moment happens, I feel like you're going to start pulling further, further, and further away. So I feel like there is the energy of you taking this opportunity to really accept what the universe is giving you here and you're going to transcend, okay? You're going to transcend the stress, anxiety, the sense of loss that you're feeling here, okay, the Four of Cups, because I feel like this person is not going to be able to support you on the journey that you're on here. You guys are just not on the same path, okay? So uh, Libra Taurus here with the Empress. What else do we have here for Virgo? What else do we have here for Virgo? Tell me about the Knight of Cups here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Okay, we have the Death card here. Wow. Tell me about the uh, Page of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. What's happening is I feel like you're going through a huge transformation where you're actually tending to that inner child, that wounded inner child that uh, you haven't really taken time out to uh, heal or work on here, okay? This is interesting because I feel like someone here is like, someone's energy is actually keeping you from doing that or has kept you from doing that. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles here. We have the Ten of Cups. Interesting. Tell me about the King of Pentacles here. And the Ace of Cups. Oh, wow. There's new love that's coming in towards you here too. This is going to open the door for new love here for you. Yeah. You're meeting your soulmate here. So this is not past. This is, this is future energy here. Someone here that's willing to invest in long-term commitment here with you. Someone here who's fully going to commit to you. Yeah, there, wow, Ten of Pentacles here. And the Empress. I mean, look what you're manifesting here for yourself. Look what you're attracting after this tower moment happens here. Something big is coming. Something big, huge that you weren't expecting here. Yeah. This is something that you were not expecting here, to, uh, Virgo. Tell me about the Four of Cups in the Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So I feel like you might be meeting this person on the internet, off a dating site here, okay? Um, for some of you guys, if you have children here, if I feel like you guys are taking an opportunity to reconnect with your children here or your kids trying to reconnect with you because I feel like that relationship could also be strained here, okay? So I feel like there's a major focus in yourself and family. I mean, there, there's definitely, I mean, there, there's definitely new love coming in towards you and this is going to be equal give and take sort of love, okay? Um, so like I said, I feel like there's just, this is a, th yeah, this is something that you were not expecting here at all. And you have the universe to thank for this. Yeah. And your guides and your angels and your ancestors. What else does Virgo need to know from their guides, angels, and ancestors here for November 2022? We have Autumn. Release the old and rest. Yeah, so I feel like you're releasing an old version of yourself here. Okay? And heart guardian, love. Let yourself be loved. So this is about opening up the heart chakra here. That's what I was talking about. Okay? And I feel like you're trusting the higher forces here. Some of you guys might be, um, you know, maybe uh, shamans, or this could be a past life thing, or that you guys work with shamans here, okay? Fire guardian, ignite your passion here. So I feel like you're trying to ignite, trying to light a fire up your ass here, I guess, to make some changes or that you are making some changes here okay so virgo i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye